right. Hello, everybody. This was uh, like two months, I think, we were planning to do something like this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've just been all super busy. Uh, hopefully, Jesse will make it. Him and I talked last time, I think, about the whole YouTube stuff that was going on with mm -hmm. with uh, Cliff. Um, I haven't been, honestly, I haven't been on YouTube very much. I've mostly been on it for sports lately because... Yeah. My mental space has just not been great. But uh, I don't know how he's I doing with that. that. I posted, I think the last video I posted before my last video was about burnout. And I think it's a real thing. Um, it is a very much, bro, me being in this, I guess, reaction thing yeah. for seven years. I can tell you for a fact, bro, you'll get burned out. You got to like know how to take a loss, a break for a second. You know what I'm saying? And just be like, all right, you yeah. know, be, be chill. And you know what I'm saying? Like, just lay back and don't let other people control your channel. You control your channel. You feel me? Yeah. I remember, uh, I watched your, uh, interview with Anthony Ray and you were talking about how you basically had to like put the smack down on some of the supporters you had or subscribers. Mm -hmm. I feel that man. I, I just, I feel like if you don't keep people in check, sometimes they get out of hand. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was mentioning, I was mentioning too that, uh, uh, Jesse has kind of been like making sure I'm not just focusing on the negative comments that I get. Um, good, good. I tend to harp on them a little bit. My mentality is like, not all of the negative comments are completely 100% like invalid, right? There's some validity there. Right. It's about figuring out how to balance what's real and what's not. But, um, yeah. so there's that, but no, I, I've talked to, there's been a lot of people when I stood up, I did my video where I stood up for a uh, cliff. There was a bunch of comments at the early inception. They were like, Oh, reaction channels is steal content. I'm like, obviously you're not watching the right ones. Um, yeah. but there are a lot of people, it. there are a lot of people too that are like, it takes no work to do a reaction channel. Like it takes a lot of work. Is it yeah. a lot less than like doing a documentary after fucking lootly, but it's not yeah. no work. Um, and they don't understand too. Like we help artists out too. Like these days, there's no 106 in Park and TRL and stuff <laughs> no more. You yeah. know what I mean? Like we we are, I have a whole lot of independent artists that hit me up. Like, hey, can you re do a reaction to my song? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, all right, but I'm honest. So, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so. I just give them that, like, but other than that, like, sometimes we help, we help other people too. So everything yeah. on my channel is my first time seeing it. Everything, you know what I yeah. mean? And I, I kind of, and if it's not, then I'll be like, oh, wait a minute. I saw this. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'll know right in the middle of it. Dude, I got almost 4,000 videos. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm, that's I think I'm, I hit my, I have to look, but. Um, I think I'm over a hundred, but I'm on like my, f I'm about to hit my 40th like music reaction. I used to Let's do video go. game content and it, I switched cause it wasn't doing shit for me. So, yeah. um, but yeah, I think I, I have, I have to look, but I have, I think I have a right around 40 videos and I'm on, okay. to be honest with you, I think 30 of them <laughs> are Ren. <laughs> so I've been trying to not do as much Ren, but, uh, that, that's fire. I have 184 videos. What the fuck? Well, I All started right. see you starting out like I like I did too. I mean, I started out like strictly R and B. I had a whole bunch of like Mariah Carey and Beyonce at the very beginning. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then yeah. um, people was requesting rock, and then it just started like going further. I was like, oh okay, I like this. Yeah, but if I don't like it, then you can see it clearly on my face. I can't even hide it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing too man like i'm looking here uh i did a reaction to falling in reverse his re his cover or their cover of last resort and mm -hmm. i don't know how you feel about ronnie radke but i basically yeah, spent yeah. literally two minutes saying it's not my type of song i'm not a big fan of the rock or pop ballads mm -hmm. but then i did 10 minutes of why the song is amazing like the the composition that goes into it, his voice the video 
And all people want to talk about was, how can you not like it? It's like, dude, I spent 10 minutes talking about why it's good. It's just not my Whoa. cup of tea, but it's good. <laughs> like, I don't know. But I literally did the same thing with the Ryan Upchurch dude. I yeah. was like, wow, he can sing. I like this song. That flag, I don't like. But yeah. I like everything else in this video. Blah, 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 blah. Going on to praise him. But they paid attention to the thing that I said I didn't like. I'm like... Like, bro, like, <laughs> y'all get on my nerves. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be people out there like that, you know, but we just, yeah. we got to roll with the punches. It's, I don't, I it's don't. the reason why I kind of stay clear of political stuff. Sometimes when I'm, when I'm um, reacting to some, I'll walk into it and don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it was like that with Jason Aldean. I didn't know that that was yeah. going to take off. I literally seen Cliff do it on the side. Like, I didn't see the video. I just seen the thumbnail. And I was like, who is this? Let me do this. And that's, <laughs> that's how that happened. And it just took off. Yeah, I stayed away from that. I actually posted, uh, I'm not going to be doing that one just because of the political backlash. So like, but the song's not political. I'm like, the reaction to it is. But I didn't do, I didn't do that one. And then the, what was it? The... Richmond, north of Richmond. I didn't do that one either. Yeah. Um, knowing full well that if I did, I probably would have got like a bunch of views, but I didn't do it. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Um, my dumb ass did the Jason Aldean and went, no, no, no. It was the Oliver R Richmond, well, the Richmond North thing, right? Yeah. I had no clue. Again, kind of to show you the authenticity. I didn't even know <laughs> they was talking about Washington. <laughs> I thought he was talking <laughs> about rich dudes. Yeah. So when yeah. the whole time everybody was like, yeah, they were talking about Washington. I was like, oh, I was like, I didn't know that. And a Jason Aldean video on my second channel, I was um, I made a video about the backlash because I was like, what's wrong with the song? I don't see nothing wrong. And then I was like, oh, yep. the, the, the background. And, you know, I said, OK, well, that's kind of fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So I had to make a whole video about that and i was like well i didn't realize that yeah. and i debated on taking that down or not but i was like um, i'm gonna just stand on what i have you know what yeah, I'm, I'm pretty like, ignorant with that stuff too man i don't i see stuff on the surface at first and then i see the comments i'm like oh that makes sense that makes sense but i don't the thing too is like people get mad when i like on my high end right my first one i have found uh, my first viewing, I found, saw a bunch of different shit that a lot of people didn't find. I'm not tooting my horn. It's to make a point. Mm -hmm. But there were still people in the comments like, oh, I can't believe you missed this. It's like like 18 other things that I noticed. And you're harping yeah. on the one thing, right? Yeah. When we're reacting, right? Especially uh, like you, you're probably paying attention to people's voices and stuff. My whole thing is like the chord progression. What are the instruments that are being played? All that stuff. That's along with. Too. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the video? What about like, there's so much stuff that we have to pay attention to in one listen. It's, it's hard to find and see everything. But, yeah. um, no, man, yeah, the political stuff. And there was a lot of people that were mad at me, but I said, I'm no longer going to be doing, um, what's his face? Tom McDonald on the channel. Yeah. I did say if people want to join the Patreon and request it, I'll do it for him. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it. Well, I'm see, not going to put it well, on see, my that's, that's the thing. I was um, telling people like my whole thing with him was it's his, it's his fans. Yeah. I don't, it might not be all of them, but you know what I'm saying? There's a whole lot of them. It's like, you cannot have an opinion. You're not even allowed one, you know? So I did him one time, I think what, two years ago. Yeah. And I paused it on a part and I was like, I started out like this. Oh. And then I was like, hold up. Pause. <laughs> I was like, eh, I don't agree with that part. But let's just keep going. They yeah. stay through rocks at me. And that's the most negative activity. That's the most negativity I've ever had. And besides that Britney Spears video, like, yeah, it was terrible. No, I mean, I, I get it, man. Like, <laughs> it's it's one of those things where you like you said before, you have to have control of your channel. Right. Um, mm hmm. The thing with Tom is, yes, I agree the the fans, um, but when somebody comes into something voicing their opinion as fact, that's when I have an issue. And yeah. He does that a lot. He does that on his shorts. He does that to promote any song. He'll do some yeah. type of crazy over the top video 
acting like his opinion is fact. That's where I'm like, eh, yeah. I can't, I can't support it. Yeah, you so, know what I mean? Um, like, it's like, it's cool if, if you can handle my opinions, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially when majority of his songs is like a white guilt kind of a song. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, um, me speaking from a perspective of a black dude, people don't want to hear that. I'm just whining. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's like, you know what? I'd rather not get your views and your monetization because he allows it for everybody, which is yep. why you see so many people jump on the bandwagon. I mean, it's ridiculous how many black people you see pander to a lot of the political stuff. They jump on it like and I just be sitting back look looking like <laughs> Yeah. But then, I mean, you know, if if you don't, then I guess you get you don't get all the money and, and all the stuff, but whatever. I mean I have I have the benefit of kind of like Cliff where I mean the money would be cool, it'd be sweet, it'd be, you know, extra money to have, but I have a full time job. Yeah. Uh and I make decent money. So like if the if the channel is successful, awesome. If it's not, disappointing, but I can still create content. So I have the luxury of being like, I'm not gonna react to this person. Mm -hmm. so I understand people who do it for like full time, you have to compromise. But at yeah. the same time, I, I agree with you. Like, stick to your beliefs, man. People respect people who are true to themselves and not just trying to pander to the And to that's the where that's how, and and to Yeah. And and to bounce off of what you said, bro, that's how I got as far as I have, and that's how I've maintained myself in here for so long. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, because people, I've been here so long, people will know if I've switched up. Like, you ain't the same as you always been. That dramatic guy that I am on camera as well as off camera, you can go all the way back to my oldest video and you will see I'm the same way. Like, yep. off of a vocal run and you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but it just got to a point where when your channel starts to grow, so does ignorance and hate and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and you have to take over and be like, okay, this is my channel. Hold up. I'm not about to do this. Racist people. Guess what? Black lives matter. <laughs> I, I I'm sorry. Was... I can't support this. And I said, I know that's why I posted it. <laughs> I thought that was like a great bait and switch that you did, but um, yeah, it was it was just simply to to weed them out. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> so I'm a white guy. I wouldn't say Are that I'm really? necessary. Yeah, yeah, I'm white. I'm so my family. I don't know if you know geography. I don't. I'm bad at geography, but there's the Buddhist okay. Sicily, and there's this little tiny little island called Malta. That's where my family's from. Okay. Um. So it's like between Turkey and Italy is where we're at. So like Middle Eastern is what I am, but it, it's white. It's okay. a form of white. Okay. Um, okay. But all of my friends are minorities. So like if I get out of line, which I do because I'm a white guy, they let me know and they explain it to me. Right. And yeah. um, I just think people are afraid to be open and listen to other people. I uh, I, I said, let the trash take itself out. 100%. Facts. So yeah, no, Facts. I, I, yeah. I essentially let people know in my community posts. I'm like, look, we can all be respectful. We can all have opinions. I'm willing to have a conversation. Like it's not simply, you can't speak your mind. I'm willing to have a conversation, but once you start, you know, misrepresenting information or facts, or you start attacking the community, that's, that's it. So, um, yeah, yeah it sucks. I saw Wolf too. The Wolf Johnson had to like lockdown on people being transphobic and all that stuff it's just like yeah that's the reason why i can't listen also to adam calhoun i mean yeah. he walks yep. around like not realizing like dude you are like extremely homophobic it's ridiculous like, oh yeah you yep. know so you know it's like whoa you know what i mean like now don't go don't get me wrong you know off camera i've told cliff now i was like i try to peep tom's new music to see what i'm not reacting to it but right. I want to see 100%. if he's bringing something different to the table. I haven't heard anything different. For instance, he made this new song. What? Not the late. What's this latest song? It was not the latest one. Um, he had like a bunch of that. It was called Racism. Race oh, Wars. Race Wars. Yeah, I think that's what it was. 
And I told Cliff and them um, in, the, in the chat and, and Knox and all them, I was like, let me tell you what bothers me about that so much. The video was great. That's fine. But everybody that he had in the video looked like a prop. You were talking nothing about each individual struggle. You were talking yeah. about, again, white guilt. You know, if you don't like me, then screw you and blah, blah. And you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm a white boy. And I'm like, bro, it's Chinese yeah. people in here and black people. Like, why do you got them holding their head down talking about race wars when you're not talking about? It's, you, can, you can say he was inclusive. He had all of them in there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. I think I did. The last one I saw, I didn't react to it, but it was the one that one of the recent ones they did with Dax. Um, I don't remember which one it was, but, uh, oh, the whole thing, up. people got mad at me. Cause I said this in the comment section to somebody else's reaction to, uh, Tom was that I don't think how Tom is on his channels and how he pr promotes himself, even in the like interviews, real world He's interviews, not like that for real. Uh, nah, it's all, it's all a character. It's all an act to get these clicks and get these views. That's my opinion. Yeah. I have no... I factual evidence to base this on but to see like when he first started i think i reacted to a white boy which is like one of his earlier ones mm -hmm. he still had that like you can tell he's a little bit more on the right side but he still was at least Shit. logical in what he was doing and now it's just like he's literally uh, uh what what's the word i'm looking for um like an exaggeration of himself yeah, so I I think it's he's seen that once you do that you're gonna get a lot of clicks and now he's just keep sticking to that. It's my opinion, yeah. but that's how I feel about it. No, I I'm right there with you. I mean, and you know, <laughs> like I said before, I think that's kind of what it is with some reactors too, specifically yep. black reactors, because you got to find a way to tap in and get views and like Jesus Christ, I need to hurry up and get paid, blah blah blah. So it's easier to just be like. Oh, I like this song. I love this song. Adam Calhoun is in the video saying the N-word three times. You know what I'm saying? And you can break down how it's cool. I'm like, listen, I have friends too. My friends can play with me any kind of way they want with me, but I'm going to warn my friends who are not my color. Don't do this around everybody else because you might get your goddamn head smacked off. Don't. Yeah. Yep. I mean, <laughs> I got... I got kids too, right? And obviously that, that music's not for kids, but there's an, I, I don't want to go into that whole realm of things, but. It's crazy that you got kids because you look like you like 19. Thanks. If I take <laughs> off my hat, you'll change your mind. Trust me. No, uh, but. Uh, me too. Me too. <laughs> me too. That's why I saw. It's like, I, I, some of these songs, like for instance, a lot of Ren stuff, mostly the Ren Chinchilla stuff, my daughter is super into um mm. but like i can't show tom to them not because of the not just because of the language because i don't want those values instilled on them right so yeah. i think that's part of it but honestly i don't care if somebody has an opinion if it's if, if they can respectfully mm -hmm. talk about it once you start disrespecting the, the, the thing you said like fuck you if you like that's a great attitude to have man like you don't even want to hear the other side or even try to understand the other side mm -hmm. that's where i'm like that's not it's a waste of time I yeah. don't get into conversations, even with my friends sometimes when they're so adamant about something. I'm just like, dude, when you're ready to actually have a conversation, hit me back. Yeah. It's, that's, yeah. it's like ridiculous. <laughs> but that's, that's why politics I stay away from because every single political discussion turns into saying something to put the other person down. It's never anything logical. So Yeah, like, I, yeah, it's like you said before, it's like you can 100% be as right as you want to be you could be whatever you want to be but just respect that i'm not i'm going to say my opinion and don't when i say my opinion don't say oh you're you're so brainwashed by the left i don't know fuck about no damn left i didn't even know it was <laughs> called left and right until i like saw like nbc or something like yeah yep you nope. know what i'm saying like so they they tell me like you're so far left and you're so far i'm like dude i'm not at all like I, people people say i'm liberal i have a lot of uh some rightist views on certain things i like to say I'm, I'm no bull i'm no bullshit like 
There's a lot of stuff that the left does Fine. that annoys the hell out of me. And there's some stuff, a lot of stuff that the right does that annoys the hell out of me. But there's a lot of stuff that the right does that I'm like, oh, I agree with that. So it's, right. I, I always say, nothing's black and white, man. There's so much gray area for people to be like, I'm left or right, I think already right. is stupid. You should be like, I have these values. I have these values from the left and the right. So I yeah. say I'm left middle because I have a little bit of the right, you know, but mm. it's... Uh, the politics thing annoys me. One, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not well versed in not If I'm not a Trump supporter, then they'll pin me left. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not a Trump supporter, but I'm not a Biden supporter either because they're both fucking awful. So, <laughs> so you hear me? That, that's like, the other thing people argue. Can we get a younger ass fucking dude in the office? People argue about that all the time. Like, you guys are arguing about the wrong shit. How about how did we, how did our government get to this point where we, these are the people we have to choose from? So, yeah. Yeah, man. I can have a political conversation all day, but it's at yeah. the end of the day, it it's goes nowhere. What game but, uh, are you playing right now? I haven't played in a little bit. I'm a toxic, but I'm a Call of Duty fan. I grew up playing Call of Duty, so I've been playing that Same, a little bit. I got, I got Call of Duty right now. I ain't been on it since like the first season, but we've been Fortnite in our damn asses all, bro. Have you been playing the Lego... Uh, Build mode or whatever it is, my friend. I still ain't get on that one. I still ain't get on that one. He said it's like a Minecraft mixed with uh like Fortnite. So I was I like, mm, that might be fun. So much. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hate it too because I'm just bad at being creative. But well, it's, it's fun. well, my thing was is when I jumped into my friends jumped me right into it. So when they yeah. jumped me right into it, it was like, okay, this thing is gonna like stare you in the ass. So don't look at it. So I'm just staring at the ground. Like I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. You know what I'm saying? He was like, okay, he's dead. I'm like, okay, what the hell? Then a green monster coming towards me. I'm like, what the hell is this, bro? Like, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just, you know, hitting blocks all the way to, you know, yeah. 700 feet trying to create some shit I can't even come back up from. Like, <laughs> yeah, man. I, for me, it's like, I can't remember what each of the mixtures do to make whatever. Like, oh, I need to make a chest. So I need this graphite and whatever. I'm bad at that. I've always been yeah. bad at that. Yeah, I was like, but, can I just put two sticks together and get a goddamn pork <laughs> chop steak sandwich or something? Like, I don't know. Nah, it's funny if you just do creative mode and just build whatever the hell you want. But uh, yeah. I used to have, for my community, uh, our own server, but I haven't, I think it's probably gone now because we haven't used it in a while. Uh, Pokemon, I'm big on Pokemon. Uh, uh, I play anything, man, honestly. I have a PS5. I play Pokemon in a minute. Stardew Valley is good to chill with. Uh, Genshin Impact, I haven't played in a bit. Uh, uh, anything, okay. man. <laughs> anything. Yeah, Pokemon, man. They used to be my favorite, man. Uh, I just had to go over my friend's house and go ahead and shred them in Super Smash Brothers because I'm just a golden <laughs> that. Like, you know, like I had to tell him, like, bro, I can still just wash you up without being on it yeah. for months. Yeah, man. I know. Super Smash is my friend's favorite game. I'm bad at fighting games, and that's one of them. You got, you got <laughs> any type of button combos, man. I'm, I'm, I'm horrible at. No build Fortnite oh, so, is so much so fun. More, also, so more. Get, I, I play no build because I'm sick of the people who want to try to build. I'm like, okay, I get it. You got a PC. I don't have that kind of PC. I'm not about to try to. Nah. They build uh, up to the heavens in like two seconds. Yeah, now nah, yeah, I, I, I don't. I'm just I only play it. Burn this shit down. I only play it if it's no build for sure. Yeah. But uh, um, when I used to stream, I used to play. A lot of the like, uh, what do you call it? Like story games. That mm -hmm. twelve minutes one I was showing you was really interesting because it's like a murder mystery type of thing. So like stuff like that, I'll play when I stream. But Bro, offline, I play a lot of Call of Duty. Sure. I am such a like. I like the thrill of scare jumps, but yeah. I get chills from some video. Like I played uh, what was it, Evil Within, right? Oh yeah, 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 dude. <laughs> What was it? Was it the first one? It was the first one, bro. When that hoodie dude just appeared out of nowhere, bro, I yep. was legit scared. Like to go in rooms and stuff, bro. I had to pause the game to like take a breath. I'm like, bro, I feel like I'm in this game, dude. Like, <laughs> I was like, I cannot yeah. just like. It makes for I good content, though, man. Yeah, it makes dude. for good. Um, I, those games don't work for me because I don't jump scare at all. I just yeah, don't. see, see, you, you way better. Than me. I love the feeling of it, but I, I tell my, uh, my friends, I'm like, it's easy to like scare me. Like, scare you you yeah. can jump out of the closet and I'm, whoa, like what the? F 
I get mad <laughs> as hell. Like, what the fuck is you? Uh, so I feel like my reflexes are good. I have dad reflexes, but it's just like if somebody jumps at me, I just like blink. Like, oh, that scared me. Like, that's the yeah. extent of how much I react. Yeah. But I did. I played Evil Within. I get it, man. Uh, I was definitely <laughs> like on edge the whole time. Yeah, I was like, bro, that hoodie dude just touch you when you dead. I'm like, what the hell is this? I be running for my life, bro. Like, yeah, uh, legitimately though, uh, I don't know if you watch like scary shows or anything, but one on Netflix called uh, Haunting of House Hill or something like that. Really? Um, it's really good, dude. Like, I hate watching scary stuff because ghosts for me are. <sighs> I'm not a fan of the ghost stuff. Uh, Sixth Sense when I was really little scared the shit out of me and ever since then I have not been into ghosts so really my wife thinks that she has a ghost following her which is awesome she has a story <laughs> about when she used to live in her apartment she was doing homework in the living room and the freezer door just opened and food just started like shooting across the room out of it and there's nobody else home what the hell <laughs> so I was like whatever um, but last year there was like my kids have like this fake phone and you push buttons and it goes off and it started going right. off and you, like you push one, it says one, one cookie, two, two birds. Right. And yeah. it started malfunctioning, hadn't been touched in weeks. And it just goes six, 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 six. And then my wife's like, uh, I'm going to take the batteries out. And then it kept doing it. Six, six, six. six. So I hit that shit with a bat. That's she, scary put, as hell. she put sage all over the house. I was like, all right, well, I know that's I believe right, you now. <laughs> I believe you now. Get the incense, get the incense out. Cause what? Yeah, no, but the me the haunting on House Hill, like it was one of those where like I would turn off, and then at the end of the night when you turn off all the lights, like I'd run to my room. <laughs> one of those things where it's like <laughs> I know nothing's gonna happen, but it's just one of those things where you get nervous. You gotta make sure that that monster don't get you <laughs> in the back. As long as you make it in your room, you safe. Or you don't remember that yeah. whole thing. Yeah. But no, that that's I honestly think if you like scary shit, uh, you should watch that show because it's crazy. Um, I won't okay, give it cool. away, but there's stuff you don't notice on the first look, right? So then you watch it and you're like, the ending is crazy because it brings the whole thing together. But then you wow. notice shit in the background that was a clear sign of what was going on after the fact. You're like, Ooh. fuck, I should have noticed. There's like thousands of Easter eggs in each episode. I'll put it that way. Wow. Okay. Cool. Oh. I'm just actually what I'm watching on Netflix right now. I'm watching. Um, I'm on the last two episodes of the new Squid Games. Gotcha. I hadn't watched those yet. Is it the yeah, no. the the original Squid Games or the like reality show? One I finished that one. The reality show. You reality know, the show. original one. You like die if you like yeah, move yeah, wrong. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like but <laughs> yeah. On the reality show, you just get the paintball. You eliminate it. I heard that the person Obviously, who won hasn't got paid yet. I don't. I don't even know who won. I, I feel like I got yet. an idea. They hadn't. They hadn't got paid yet. So what? Like Netflix under scrutiny. It's been over for a year or some shit like that, and they haven't got paid yet. That's crazy. But it's what isn't like a million, a million that they win. I think. Yeah, shoot, 100. from what it looked like, it stacked up to like four on four and four. Oh, million? really? That's crazy. Yeah, it was like. So that's probably why they like, you know what? Let me look what the taxes look on this real quick. <laughs> before yeah, I man. get this to y'all. Uh, I think it was uh, two weeks ago, man. I, uh, I was off of YouTube and shit. I was not doing anything. And I was mm -hmm. like stressed out every day. I, was, but I shouldn't show you my nails because my nails are disgusting. But um, I'll show you. Bite your nails. I bite my nails. Look at that. It's disgusting. Dude, that's what my mother does. <laughs> My mother's is like that. I'm like, mom, what are you biting? You've already chewed them down. How are you yeah. biting more? You know, my dad's worse, so I, I got it for him. But um, I was like nervous, and my stomach was messed up, and I had nothing going on. And I'm trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out. And I talked to my dad. He's like, sounds just like how I was when I used to be a huge Niner fan, and the Niners were playing the Eagles. So I was like, yeah. Man. So I've been like deep diving into sports lately. So that's mm -hmm. kind of been my um, not to bring up therapy and shit but in therapy i talk about i have i need an escape from my escape right so youtube is my escape from like life it's my own personal time but it, that got so stressful because i'm getting so many it's it's like a first world problems i'm growing 
I think last time we talked, I was at 4,500. I'm at like 75, oh, 7,000 almost now. But so I'm getting oh, more yeah, requests. Good, I'm getting more requests, which is awesome, but I also can't keep up. So like now I need an escape from that, which is a bad thing. So it's just like, nah, you good. I have my mental space has just been, Dude, I, I understand I was, it. I was off so discord. Much. I was off Instagram. I was off all that shit. Um, yeah. But, uh, so yeah, I'm glad we could. I got them same. I got them same things, dude. I, I take medicine for it. Like, yeah. um, you know, having generalized anxiety disorder. I mean, even right now, as you see me, I don't know if you just saw me just looking because I'm trying to find my Altoids because I have, I'm anxious right now for some reason. Yeah. I'm sorry but if I, I made just, you anxious. No, no, I no, got, no, no, no. I you, have, you don't make me anxious. You, you I have general anxiety as well. Um, so here's here's my real fast. This year, right, I started doing the Ren stuff. That was the first stuff I did. That ended up making me become an emotional reactor, which I wasn't planning on. And then a yeah. lot of people in in the uh, comments were like, you should probably look into therapy, man. I think it'll help you. I did that, got diagnosed with general anxiety, went through a few sessions. That was then t- uh, diagnosed with general depression. So this all happened okay. in like the last six months. Um, Damn. Okay. Come to find out. I have like, I'm not gonna give you my life story, but like past trauma from when I was a kid and my mom and stuff, oh, wow. all that. So like all of that was coming to fruition whilst doing my channel. So it's been mm-hmm. like a weird mental roller coaster. Um, yeah. But that's to say, before you got in here, I was letting chat know that uh, I'm working with Jesse and hopefully with you and some others. I want to do yeah. a charity stream. Okay. Um, okay. And so it. we don't all get burned out having general anxiety. I know I can only last like three hours, honestly, on a stream at a time mm-hmm. maximum. So it would be something like, you know, one of us starts off, we do reactions, whatever the community wants to do. And a lot of the proceeds go to a certain charity that we all want to do or different ones, whatever. And then like once we finish off, we, you know, we raid the next person. And they do three hours and then we raid the next person and they do three hours. I like that. And then the more people we get, it could be, you know, 12 hour charity stream, 15 hour charity stream. I think that would be really cool. That'd be Um, fire. That's an idea I have. And then um, Jesse and I were talking about boosting independent artists like you were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not big enough yet. I've done one or two, I think. Uh, independent artists that I put on my channel and they did all right, but I'm just not mm-hmm. big enough to where people want to come to my channel for me. I have like maybe 100 to 200 of those that like will watch anything I post pretty much. But I know you good. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Like I said, it starts out like that. Sometimes, like I said, it takes for a certain video to just launch you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when I started with the Harry Mack stuff, that started like going nuts. You know what I mean? Like, and then our Australian um, fan base came when I did Jimmy and John, Jimmy Barnes and John Farnham. Never heard of those two. And um, they were like two of the most soulful dudes I've ever heard in my entire life. I was like, yeah. what? So I ended up making the news out there. I was on the Australian That's newspaper, crazy. Ch- Sky News, Channel 7. Whoa. And I woke up to so much, so much stuff. And then Morissette, you know, got a chance to go to her her concert and she you know sent me a personal video message i posted on instagram of her congratulating me on my 100k and that's that's cliff was awesome, like man. what i was yeah, like that's, yeah this is crazy that's crazy you man know? so you know but it, it eventually you'll eventually get there and that's yeah. how i am I, I make sure that i'm never too big you know have a big head you know, where I can't talk to people who have smaller uh, subscribers than me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's so many. Um, I'm subscribed to so many smaller YouTube channels, bro, that I just love yeah. watching. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watch your yeah. stuff. I watch um, these other two dudes. Um, they haven't responded to me yet, you know, <laughs> which is cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I mean, you know, it's cool. I'm a that- fan. That's a real thing though, right? Like you're supporting them, not necessarily expecting anything back. And by the way, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Yeah, no but problem. I, I, I started streaming first and then became YouTube content creator. And the whole thing there is networking and supporting people you like without expecting anything back. Mm-hmm. That's how this whole thing works, right? 
Um, yeah. But no, yeah, I, I, I think that's awesome, dude. Like, uh, there's a lot of people who are like, I can't believe Ren hasn't mentioned you yet. Your reactions are awesome. It's like, I'm not out here trying to get validation from Ren. Yeah, yeah, if I yeah. do, that would be sick, but that's not why I'm doing this, right? So, yeah. yeah. But no, Morissette, Morissette, I think the very first one I did of her was uh, Stone Cold or Cold, whatever it's called. Um, yeah. And yeah, that, I think. It's I think originally already has like 11k views yeah between her and Dim- dimash Dumb. that was my first video to touch 300k that's crazy dude yeah so I dropped my high though because oh. the first four years i didn't even I, I don't know if jess told you the story if i told you the story the first four years or you heard it during the anthony ray yeah, uh, yeah. thing the first four years i didn't even turn my youtube monetization on because i didn't know anything about nothing that was yeah. so stupid yeah. i mean so, live and learn man it's it's yeah you could have made you could have made a bag but it is what it is right at this point yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> you're, it's you're, just, you're where you're at right no but so, for for me dimash and morissette have skyrocketed my channel um yeah. i'm trying to find it my high ren i think uh where are you bro uh my high ren video I think, let me, what am I doing? Let me go to my most viewed. I think my highest view video is still my high end video, which is my first ever music reaction, which is insane. Mm-hmm. And it's at like almost 40K. But then yeah. I promoted, I posted a Dimash video like three weeks ago. Um, and that one hit 23K already. Yeah. So for me, that's crazy. The fact. Yeah. And, and because of those two artists alone, I could post... Not that this is the main thing, but I can post one or two of them, one or two of their total of between them two a week, and I'll be good for like three to four hundred dollars a month, a month mm-hmm. which is good spending money, right? So like, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I was telling Jesse like I could do that, but I'll, there's so many artists I want to get to, so I got to figure out like, do I want to compromise who I want to post to make some of that extra cash? Or do I just want to post what I want to post? Because the extra cash makes it easier to do this. I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, oh, no, no, well, no doubt. I mean, and it's also sometimes discouraging when you do 20 videos and all of them getting monetized. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. I've been doing this for so long that it's like I'm kind of used to you know, that stuff going on. Like I said, for the first four years, I did this because I generally love music and I like hearing people sing and I love hearing new stuff. But some stuff that people give me, I'm like, yeah, no, what the hell is what? What is what the hell is this? You know what I'm saying? It's just like so boring. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's I've got one yesterday, but there's a lot of people that will post like they'll go on i think it was my dimash and they're like what a great reaction hey you should listen to this person didn't comment on the video about how good the video well not that i wanted but like they didn't say anything about the actual video i posted they just wanted to request another one mm-hmm. and those ones i tend to kind of like shrug off i guess just because if you mm-hmm. want to say like hey i love dimash he's a great artist hey you should also try this one because they're similar then that's fine but if you immediately come into the comments and you're like, hey, you should do this artist. It's like, I appreciate the tenacity, but, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I can't even no, keep I had, up with the comments no more. Like, I'll drop in each, you know what I'm saying? But it's, that's what I tell people all the time. I'm like, it's so, like, I'll, I'll actually miss if a celebrity commented, you know, like Morissette's husband commented a long time ago and I never knew. That's crazy. I was like, he, What? YouTube studio is usually pretty good about having its own individual alerts for that. Like when you comment on my stuff, it, mm-hmm. I see it cause it has YouTube studio specifically sends me an alert on my phone. Um, really? Yeah. So if, I think if it's like, if somebody's an actual creator or if they have like over a thousand, I think subs, it does that. Um, so oh, if it's a celebrity, but they don't have a lot of subs, you're not going to see it. Right. Right. But a uh, question for you, how long did it take 
for you to not be able to respond to every comment because I'm still trying to do that. Jesus. Um, <laughs> not to respond to every comment? Yeah. Probably when I hit 10, 10K, maybe. Okay. Okay. Six, six, maybe six K. Some, some, maybe somewhere around there. Probably. I'm at six K right now, and I'm just now like there's so many. Yeah. Um, it it gets hard the more videos you put out. Like it gets. It's like the Morissette Dimash crowd too. There's just like I feel like fifty percent of the people who watch the videos comment. Like it's it's insane. Trying to so I'm like now I'm just like thanks for your kind words like. I'm almost not doing generic. It's different every time, but I'm not yeah. having these well thought out responses anymore. Sometimes, um, most of the times, what I do right now is I'll just heart everything to let you know I see you. You know yeah, what I'm yep, saying? Yep. Like, so yep. throw the hearts to let you know, like I'm reading what you're saying. You know what I mean? But it's it's impossible unless I just sit here for hours and hours and go through each what four thousand videos. Because let's be honest, even videos that's you know, seven years old, it still it has a newer comment or something, you know. So I have to go all the way through four thousand videos to look for comments, you know. So I didn't even think about it. you have four thousand videos and think even if you get three a day, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> on each of them, it's or one like, a day on each oof. of them. Yeah, that's nuts, dude. I messed nice. myself up when I made my PayPal a dollar. That was the worst decision I ever did in my entire life. Bro. I remember Anthony ragging on you for that. Like, how are you going to make it a dollar? Like, <laughs> you have to set standards. But then when you do that, people think that you are here for the money. I'm like, no, it's literally a filter out. I can't look at all these comments. So if you want to be seen or if you want your, you know, your video to be reacted to, then I have to set, you know, the boundaries here. I just should not never set it that low. <laughs> yeah, I think mine's at five right now. Cause yeah, um, that's what my Patreon is. It's like four and ten. I think my I have three tiers. One, I think my my YouTube one is like one ninety nine, but it only okay. I only have a certain amount, and then it's six and twelve, something like that. But no, okay. for like PayPal donations, like in my stream, if people want me to react, I think it's like five bucks right now. And I have yeah. mm-hmm. people in my PayPal saying you should make it twenty. I'm like, I don't get that many requests yet. Mm. so like i don't feel it's like i'm not overwhelmed yet once i start getting overwhelmed i'll go to 10 and if i'm still overwhelmed i'll go to 20 but yeah yeah i just do 10 and 20 but like um because i think the weird the funny thing about like twitch is people still ain't caught when that i even have twitch (laughs) like my youtubers like my youtube subscribers haven't even caught when that i have it like i'll still have just maybe 15 to 20 to nine viewers, you know, which is cool. Have you, you know, tried? I'll still have. Have you tried multi streaming like YouTube and Twitch for a while? I I would do that if YouTube didn't like reactions, like where they would do the reactions on there too. Just in general, so like you can go live on YouTube and Twitch and be like, Hey, YouTube chat. I don't know if you're there. Um, I don't have chat open. If you want to come over to Twitch and hang out, you can, then that gets people like, Oh, he has a Twitch type of thing. I never thought of doing that. Actually. That's smart. Like opening the live because I'm scared to do live reactions on YouTube. I was doing that at first, but they just slapped me like a month and a half ago with the community yeah. guideline strike warning. And I was like, where what did i do so i stayed away from doing reactions live because i don't know what happened you know what i'm saying I, like my very first reaction stream i did uh pentatonics and um they shut my stream off mid reaction to one of their songs and then mm. ever ever since then any ptx stuff actually not just ptx stuff I, one of my latest Morissette videos, I tried uploading it five different times. First time I just dimmed the video. The second time I dimmed it and horizontal flipped it. Then I dimmed it some more. Then I dimmed it even more. Eventually I had to dim it 95% and put words over it for them to not copyright it. Um, That's how it just was with that new Beyonce song in, in my house or something. 
Yeah. I did that on the second of December when it came out and they blocked it. And I saw nothing but reactors doing reactions. I was like, what? I was like, how do they just pick and choose? Like, just going to say they pick and choose, man. So what I do and the thing about real quick, the YouTube multi-streaming, you don't even have to like, you can do your reactions, have your phone up, like literally with the rear, the forward cam facing you vertically, go live yeah. on YouTube on your phone and just be like, Hey, I'm on Twitch. We're doing reactions. They at least can see you on YouTube and then they'll go to Twitch. Just Ooh. a suggestion. Um, people That's do that with TikTok a lot. Then you don't, get the demonetization that happens with doing the reactions, but people still know you're live. Um, Oh, that's a great idea, actually. Twitch. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do. I record whilst I'm doing my reactions. So then I don't, if something gets blocked on Twitch, um, it's not muted. You Mm -hmm. can set your stream up away. I wonder if I can show you on discord. You can set your stream up away where if you right click in your audio mixer, uh, and go to advanced properties. You have all of your whatever audio you have, and you're going to see your tracks, right? One, two, three, four, five, mm. six. Six is the VOD. So anything that might be copyright. So if you're playing like copyright music, whatever uh, audio input or output that that music is going through, like for me, I have it set up to a separate um, audio track, uh-huh. put it to own, put it to not uncheck that on track six and it won't be in the VOD. So, really? So if, if I were like, I used to do this when I was playing with people on, on discord and some of them did not know how to act <laughs> and mm-hmm. like, you can't say certain things. Right. So I would yeah. mute discord on track six. So it wouldn't be in the VOD. Um, so that's another thing you can do. Um, mm-hmm. Anything OBS you need help with, dude, I'm pretty good at it. Uh, I spent hours and hours and hours for a long time trying to figure out how to utilize OBS. Um, okay. There's so many plugins you can use to like tilt all of your plug, like your chat. You can have shadows. I don't know. You can't see on my camera on, um, on uh discord, but on my stream, my camera is like, uh, blurry on the outside that's a filter that's not my camera so it's it's really? all done in obs uh, that's it look fire i didn't even realize until i looked at my phone because i got the chat open that so if, our boxes are you know top and bottom like that yep so like if i go here real quick since you're looking well you can't see with the chat but yeah how it's like a little tiny bit blurry in the back um that's that's just a filter on my camera. Like I can go to my oh. filters and turn it off. And you see it's very subtle, super subtle, but it makes a huge difference. Yeah. So it looks like it's a professional camera. Um so again, that dude, if you would have like what kind of <laughs> phone you got? Uh it's a Samsung Galaxy S23, I think. Let's go. Is that what you have? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a good phone, dude. I really like it. Um, but uh, yeah, I, use, I love it. I paid twenty dollars lifetime, and it's called IV Cam. Um, it's ah, iffy. I was using it's that iffy. for a long time. If you have too much shit running, it it bogs up a lot of uh, like I'm I'm streaming, I'm playing music. I have Mix It Up Bot, which is something else you should look into. Mm-hmm. I have Spotify open, so now you can see my camera's lagging a bit on the stream, but. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. I, I got what I got. Um, but yeah, if you ever need help for it, for uh, OBS, dude, I'm, I'm definitely a resource for it. Uh, <laughs> Galaxy Note it, 10. I missed the notes, man. They got rid of the notes. That pisses me off. I liked the notes. What did they come out with? A, um, it was like a recent note, like the, uh, the Galaxy Note. They, I, think they came out note. Rec- I think they came out with them recently, but they're not doing... I think they canceled the notes. Um... We call it the note. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where's my stopping point at with phones because my <laughs> friends always make a joke. They'd be like, Oh, right, what you doing with that phone? All you're gonna do is just buy another one in another year, you know. And it's not, I'm, I'm not even buying these, it's just I'm paying them off. And then once I pay it off, I'm like, Oh, hey, here's the iPhone 
15, you can get this for free. You know, they know how to just get you right on in there. And I'm paying a $1,200 bill, you know? Yeah. I'm big on the camera because of all of my filming right. and stuff I do with my, my phone. But I also use my phone for gaming too. Um, really? So if it was just for the camera, I would use it. I would get the, the Google Pixel or whatever it's called. Because they have the oh, best wow. camera out of all the phones. But because yeah. I like to game also, I, I kind of compromise with this one. Um, oh, wow. But yeah, yeah I, I bought fire, a little bro. like controller that you like extend and it plugs into the USB C I just port. saw that. They just came out. They coming out or just came out with a PlayStation 5 one. Like an actual one that's yep. like PlayStation 5 or something like that. Like, um... But yeah, it's supposed to do all that type of stuff on there. Look like a switch once you put it to your phone. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, man. I mean, I can play Xbox, I can play my PS5, I can play Steam all on my phone. So if I don't want to get out of bed because I'm lazy, which is often, I can just do it that way. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know. Um, I feel you. But no, uh, what is it called? Um, did I hear this right? I I for, I forget. Did Jesse buy you the camera or you bought him his camera? I forget which one it was. I bought him his camera. You bought him camera. That's cool, man. That's like, I feel like there's not enough. The content creator realm is so. I think where we're at, we're okay, but it used to be so like cutthroat. Like everybody was fake nice. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's yeah. like, oh yeah, I'll totally help you out. But once that person surpasses them, they stop being helpful. Um, yeah. So it's cool to see people helping each other out. I think Yeah, Jess 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 has been a blessing to me too. I mean, without him, I wouldn't have known about this this mic setup, this focus right setup. This like I would have no clue about it. So it was it was very simple with Jess. Oh, you know, he was talking about that song like, Oh, that looks so good, I'm trying to get that. I was like, You want it? I'll get it for you. <laughs> it was just That's that simple. simple. Yeah, he he, he was uh... like, No, no, and I was like, I got you. I That's, think it was around Christmas too. Nice. Yeah. I, think, I, I think I'm working on my first album right now. Low key EP, nothing special. Don't, don't, don't make that face, <laughs> but he's been helping what me with the mixing and stuff. Uh, so I used to be in a band. Let me actually, I used to be in a band called, okay. we were young called dope collective. <laughs> okay. Um, it was uh band camp dope collective. Um, um, we were like a hip hop, funk, ska fusion. Um, uh, the lead singer was an MC before he joined the band. So he used to rap and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and him and I were kind of the mastermind of the band. Mm -hmm. Um, but him and I wrote a lot of the music. Um, so you're live I'm too, right? I'm working on my first song too, man. We should collab, dude. <laughs> Dude, I, I need I I need singers because everybody a lot of people keep that, telling me like you need to everybody keep telling me they was like you need to get some music out you need to get Cliff said that Anthony said that Knox said that BP said that like you need to get you know I was like yeah no I just I just I don't know what's happening like yeah it's the um, my goal actually when I switched to music reactions was to get back into music because I my daughter was born she's seven now and I hadn't touched okay. I hadn't touched my guitar since she was born um, really yeah so my whole thing wow. was going into music was I wanted to somehow get back into it and then it just mm -hmm. ballooned into this thing where I met Jesse and he's a mixing producer and he's like oh you should get this you should get this you should get this so I'm I mean I have compression and like music produ production stuff on my mic for you OBS right now. He's like, you can mm -hmm. load those same plugins you use for your music in OBS. I was like, bet. So I did that. Um, and I spend hours in the middle of the night recording and, and all that stuff. So really, uh, I sent to your Instagram, the, the album, it's okay. not very well mixed. It's super old. Okay. It was our first EP, but there's some stuff on there. If you can only listen to a few yeah. songs, I'd say number one, 
Number two, I had a big hand in writing. And then number eight uh, is the one I'm redoing myself. So okay, cool. It's essentially the same, but I'm adding a lot of different twists to it. Yeah. So, okay, okay, cool. And then I'm do working that. on a lo-fi song, which is interesting. Uh, so my EP is not going to be like... Oh, wow, it's I'm literally jazz. surrounded by like talented people. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. I wouldn't say talented. I, I did the vocals on that song and uh, it was bad. But you thought, you oh, ask. okay. I mean, listen, I'm sure you're talented in playing guitar. If you got a mind to write or anything, dude, you talented in some form. <clears throat> yeah, I had a big impost- imposter syndrome when I started recording. Because mm-hmm. I'm super rusty, but as I got back into it, now it's like I'm back to being where stuff's flowing on the guitar. So it is See, like riding I'm, a bike, I, but yeah, like with me, like dude, I'm like I'm I've never been in a recording studio or anything. So you know when they like okay, get you a good quality mic. Boom! I spent like a lot of money on this mic, and then I was like, okay, let me re- try to record some. I realized like dang, this is a little bit more different than me just being a live singer and just belting and, or singing because you have to really focus on, you know, these little bitty yep. things to do. And it's like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like when, when you're playing live on stage, right, and you're with the band, right, you can be a little bit off beat. You can be a little bit off rhythm. You can be even a little tiny bit out of tune because yeah. there's so much going on. People are drinking people are having fun. When you're recording, you gotta be on that metronome. You gotta hit every single note, right? And then you're also responsible for mixing, making it sound good. Where is the mic? How loud do I need the mic? What kind of compression? What kind of EQ? So I learned the yeah. hard way. It takes a lot. But uh, you, you know got what's funny, in my bro? Chat. You got people in my chat saying, "Go for it." I you, appreciate so. y'all. <laughs> I appreciate y'all, so, and I am. I agree, but it's crazy. It's crazy, like. I can't never tell if it sounds mixed or not. Like I could be mixing. I'd be like, that sounds balanced. Like I can't tell. Yeah. I think I love Je- I said the that. same thing to Jesse. I'm like, dude, I can't hear anything different. And then um, he's like, what you need to do is just make subtle changes. And then when you hear something that you think sounds good, just stop. And that's okay. pretty much what we did what I do. And now I'm slowly starting to hear even subtle differences. Um, But uh, essentially the way I describe it is once something sounds a lot more like it's not so muddled, it's just basic recording of anything sounds a little muffled and you don't understand that until you start putting EQ and compression on it. And you're like, Oh wow, that sounds so much more clear. And you're like, okay, I get it now. I get it. Um, Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, I have this whole song done. I just got a, finish writing to it and i just yeah. you gotta it's almost like me drawing because i draw too mm. and i have to be completely in a mood to draw because i'm I, like i feel that jesus christ like you know what i'm saying four hours charcoal pencil and stuff i don't feel I, like it i'm horrible <laughs> at art but i have to it's the same thing <laughs> with me like writing an actual song i have to be 100 percent in a mood and honestly Honestly, it's when I'm going, I think, especially lyric writing, for sure. I have to be going through something to be able to, like, have that mentality of writing. I use writing music as, like, a journal of some sorts, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, TCF Iceland, I almost did it again, sorry, wants to know if you show your drawing somewhere. Or can you show your drawing somewhere? Jesus Christ, my my old drawing book is somewhere. I don't know where it's... (laughs) He asked nicely. Uh, the only the only collection I can show TCF is my Pokemon cards, and I'm proud of that. You still got Pokemon card? Let's I got that. Go. I got that first edition Charizard, dude. It's up to like two hundred thousand for mint oh, edition. I don't, don't know. I don't know how much it is. Don't understand it, bro. <laughs> those are cool. them getting those was crazy. We used to have them little battles in the lunchroom, boy. They you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, like, I used to play a little bit, but like most of my stuff has always been in my binder. So a lot of it's in at least like for if where they were to grade it, I'd assume it's like eight, nine, that realm. Right. Um, I'm afraid. Cause you have to send it in the mail. 
to get graded right. and I'm afraid it's going to get lost. Right. And my wife's like, well, why don't you just send one that's like a decent price and send it out and see how it goes. And if yeah. that one's in mint condition or good condition, then it's probably the rest of them are too. Cause they're all in the same binder. Mm-hmm. I was like, I can make a killing on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. It'd definitely be dope. But yeah. listen, bro. Um, I gotta get ready. For, for sure, you got that. This. You got that concert, bro. That's <laughs> yeah. I got that. Uh, and I gotta because it's downtown here in Cincinnati, and we gotta find the place. And the parking is terrible, bro. So uh, <laughs> I gotta kind of leave out around five something. It's four thirty six. So I gotta 36. get ready. Yeah, you gotta go. Leave at five something, and then. He told me to be there for the meet and greet. He was like, I'm hoping nothing goes wrong because this is completely yeah. like free. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, he yeah. was like, just tell him to ask for Tim. And I'm like, okay. You know, <laughs> so. Are you going to do a vlog of it for your channel or no? I have to. Like, I got to do okay. something for oh. the, the home fries. So I won't say. Oh, you, you said it. I thought you were going to make it a surprise. All right. I was going to say, I ain't going to say nothing until, until it's out there. But yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But, don't uh, worry, nah, they, don't worry. It's, it's gonna be some uh, some fun stuff. That's sick, man. That's really cool. All right, I'll let you go. Let us all know how that goes, man. I, I'm excited for you to be able to go behind the scenes and all that stuff. Appreciate you, bro. Like right now, yeah. I need to take my anxiety medicine because so, I'm like anxious right now as hell. So. For sure, man. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. I want this to be a regular thing if we can swing it. So let's yeah, keep in sure, touch. Bro. Let's do all this stuff yes. that I have in my mind and keep it. And maybe we can collab on a few songs. You need bet, a man. guitarist, you need down. a piano player, bass player. I got you. What? Okay, bet. <laughs> Let's go, yeah, bro. I got you. All right, brother. All right. Later, man. Peace out, bro.